Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Visual Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to use our Urban Modern Title Pack 2.0 for DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so once you above the pack, you will get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It'll give you access to this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, installation instruction, the TRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install the font, otherwise the title will not work. So just double click on the font to install it. Then you can just double click on the TRFX file and it will prompt open a window that asks you if you want to install. Just click install. Once you're in damage to resolve, you can find your title in the FX library by going over to title. It'll be in video to studio. You can just scroll down to the bottom and it will be right there. Or you can simply just go to title and then here search urban and the first version of the pack and the second version should show up. If you want to try a title from the pack for yourself, you can download a sample with the link in the description below. All right, right now let's get started and use the first title, Urban Modern Title number one, and drag it above some footage. If I play it, as you can see, it's playing fairly smoothly on my computer, but depending on your spec, you might need to just go over to playback and then here reduce the timeline proxy resolution to either half or quarter. Another thing you can do to get real-time playback is going to render cache and here select user, which will just bring here a bar right above your title that will switch from red to blue, depending if the title has been cached or not. And when it's blue, that means the title has been cached completely and it will play at real-time playback. Another thing I recommend to have on is here, show all video frame and basically to play it passing by without caching the title. So I personally always have this on. Now let's take a look at the title and see some examples. So here you can obviously extend the title as you want. It will work with every frame rate and every resolution, meaning that right now we could switch the timeline to a vertical timeline and drag a title in. As you can see, it adapts automatically. And this is because there is only text element. Some other pack will not be able to be adapted automatically. There is a workaround using compound clip, but for this one, because it used only a text node, the text node is adapting directly to the resolution it's used at. And it doesn't matter if that's vertical or horizontal. So they will all adapt pretty well to vertical format as well. Each titles have their own specificity, but there is some common trait. You will always find the size and position, which allow you to adjust the overall size and position of the text. Then you have the text parameter, which allow you to change the actual text, to change the font, the size, tracking, etc. And then you will have the shadow control, which is a drop shadow behind your text, the glow, the perspective, which adjusts the X, the Y and the Z axis. You can double click on any parameter to reset it to default. And then finally, you always have the background, which helps you create more separation between your footage and your title right there. You can increase the opacity. You can play around with the soft edge. You can create a vignette by here, for example, adjusting the width, the high and inverting, increasing the radius and increasing the soft edge. So this element can help you create a different look. They will also all share some animation features. For example, here you can adjust the animation length. Right now for this title, by default, it's two seconds, but we could try to reduce that to one second, for example. So now basically, instead of being two seconds, it will be one second when we play it. You can choose anywhere from 0.5, so half a second, up to five seconds. Then you have on-off toggle for the animation in and animation out. And then for example, for this one, we have some custom control dedicated to this title. So here you can choose between three different design modifications. You have number three that we have right now, number two and number one. For this specific title, another possibility could be to go here to text and adjusting the soft edge of the mask between the text. And right now it already give us a very different look. But that's our first example. Now let's move on to the second one. For the second example, we're gonna use Urban Modern Title number 19. We're gonna drag it over our clip right here. So as you can see, these share a lot of common similarity with the past title. We have the size and position, we have the back text, the front text, the shadow, the glow, the perspective, and the background, as well as the on-off animation and the animation lens parameter. But this one has been created using follower animation. You have left to right, right to left, inside out, outside in, random but one by one, completely random and manual curve. So this already can help you create a different look. Right now we are left to right, but we could choose to have inside out, which is a completely different animation in its own right. 
Another cool thing with this title is that here you can choose the curve that is used to generate the animation. So right now we're in back, but we could choose, for example, the bounce, and it will again give us a different style of animation. Now for our third example, let's bring the urban modern title number five and bring that over our clip. Again, these titles share a lot of similarity to the other one that I just show, but there are three parameters that are available on this title and on some other in the pack, which are copy, text spacing, and time offset. So copy is the number of outline copy generated from the original text. So right now in total it's three, but we could increase that number to six, for example, and fill up completely the frame. Now, another thing you could do is adjusting the line spacing by here increasing text spacing, and it's just spread those text apart. And then finally, we have the time offset, which is the offset animation between each of those words. So right now we are at minus five, but we could completely remove that time offset and have all the word appearing at the same time. But right now I'm just gonna leave the time offset as default. I'm just gonna reduce maybe a bit the text spacing. And then here to just match what we have in the background, I'm gonna just bring some glow. So I'm gonna select glow and increase the gain. Then here again, to help us create some separation between the text and the footage, we're gonna go to background and then I'm gonna increase the opacity to bring that layer between our footage and our text. And here is our third example. I hope this video was helpful and that you learned how to use the pack. Let me know in a comment if you have any question. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.